Hello. I'm Jennifer. I'm pretty much just making this video to point out the flaws in Ohio Wesleyan's logic here. I'm currently waiting outside a Meyer to get my COVID-19 shot. I plan to just get the Johnson & Johnson one and done shot so I don't have to come back and think about it and worry about it so much because this whole deal has been causing me a lot of stress. If you aren't aware of the situation that's happening right now, Ohio Wesleyan is mandating that their students all get the COVID-19 shot before returning back on campus. If you don't get it, you can't go back. Your options are to transfer to a different college or take a leave of absence. The leave of absence probably wouldn't do anything because I doubt they're going to change their mind within the next couple of months or year, next semester. It's just going to prolong me graduating and that's not what I want. I got accepted to Otterbein, but the transfer credits, it didn't transfer over as I would like for it to. So I have to, I would have to take at least two more years because their requirements are all different than Ohio Wesley. And some of the credits that I was taking probably won't even go to anything useful since their requirements are just so different, even though they're both liberal private arts colleges so sorry if i'm not speaking as eloquently as i can this is all just really stressful for me i'm a senior at ohio wesleyan so the fact that this is happening so late in my senior year is just really unfortunate I would have only had two more semesters and then I could have been graduated and done with it and not had to think or deal with it anymore. The thing is, is that back in June, Ohio Wesleyan sent out this email to all their students that said, if you're vaccinated, welcome back on campus. And if you're unvaccinated, you're good to go. Like just wear a mask, social distance, and everything's going to be fine. Come out July 6th, which is my birthday, by the way, and they just completely do a 180 on us and they're changing their mind within a matter of one month saying that nope can't go back unless you're vaccinated you don't have a choice so you see the pickle that this puts me in being a senior and if I would transfer I'd have an extra year of college to do imagine the money the finances and the time I've been putting into this I can't work full-time because I'm in college full time. It's a pickle. And taking a leave of absence wouldn't help me at all. It would just prolong me graduating as well. The, the amount of money I've put in to go to Ohio Wesleyan is just ridiculous. And for them to treat us like this, the students at least have like a rule that grandfathers us into the system and just have that for new students because that's they know what they're signing up for. But for us who've been here, this whole time been so loyal to them for them to just be this cold-hearted towards us we've tried to talk to city council we've done two protests at least we've gone to social media i was on the news and they aired about not even half of what i said and only took bits and pieces from what they wanted to hear and all the like the brock jones the person who like runs ohio wesley and all he had to say was that it's for the greater good a vaccine that doesn't even prevent you from getting COVID. It just lessens your symptoms if you do get it. And considering back in the spring semester, we only had like less than 13 cases of COVID on campus. We were all social distancing and wearing masks and no one was forced to be vaccinated. I don't even live on campus. I'm a commuter student. I'm not spending like hours upon hours with these students. I take my classes and then go home. Ohio Wesleyan's not even offering any online classes. I, I don't have an option except to get this stupid shot that's not even FDA approved. I've seen all of the side effects of it. I've witnessed I've witnessed them, the videos, I've heard stories about people dying and getting sick from it. People get sick after the second shot all the time. And it's just, I'm just putting this video out there 
to tell everyone that I am not doing this by my own will. I'm literally being forced to, coerced to, and if you try to say otherwise, that's what this video was for. I don't have a choice. You may think I have a choice, but they put you in such a situation that it feels like you don't. Lisa from the city council meeting, the way she put it was just so eloquent. If you didn't get a chance to watch it, I suggest you try to find the footage for it because it was live recorded and try to get a hold of her or just talk to someone who has done the research on it. And I am very sure that they would be happy to enlighten you on all of the bad things that could happen from this decision that has been made and it doesn't look like Ohio Wesleyan is going to change their mind anytime soon. So I would like to graduate college on time and not waste more time, money, effort, literally blood, sweat, and tears to graduate from this college. I've already spent so much money in application fees to other colleges, transfer fees, like um, sending out a transcript is even $7. And I've been to like um, high school, other colleges. I transferred from another college to Ohio Wesleyan before I was even like a fully um, sophomore or freshman. It's just ridiculous. The hoops that they're making us jump through just to get an education that we already have been paying for. I'm left with no other option. I don't want this at all, but I have to get it because I want an education and my education is apparently more important than my health and my personal health choices. According to Ohio Wesleyan, they have been denying people's religious and medical exemptions. I put in for two exemptions. The first one they completely ignored. I put in for like medical history reasons. And the second one I put in for religious and medical reasons. Denied. They've been denying people's reasons for like serious immunodeficiency order disorders and heart problems religious beliefs they've just been denying people they're picking and choosing who they want in there and i don't get it i don't know why they have to like feel like they need to discriminate this much against us they say it's not political but it is political I actually withdrew from Ohio Wesleyan and then within a matter of like less than a week I reapplied to get back in because I was like this isn't what I want I can't do this I'm gonna try to get an exemption again but they're just denying everyone so why even try when they take like three weeks to get back with you the school semester starts in three weeks transferring to a whole new college that may or may not even take my already the classes I've already taken because I don't know yet, because I don't, I haven't gotten an answer from, like, two other colleges I applied to, because it's so late in the game. They gave us less than two months to look for a whole new college, when people sometimes take, like, three years to look for their first college, to look for a college. Three years, and they're giving us less than two months. Ohio Wesleyan discriminates. My rights are being stripped away from me. And there you have it, folks. I signed my life away and got this shot. So. We'll see how it turns out. I'm honestly ashamed of my school for forcing this on these young adults, teenagers even. way too young. I'm ashamed of myself for letting the school force me into submission, for them using my education against me, and for Ohio Wesleyan discriminating me against me. Overall, it was a really quick process. I signed in, waited like 15 minutes, got the shot, and then now I have to wait another 15 minutes to see if I have any allergic reactions. It really freaking hurt going in. It does not feel like a normal vaccine. 
not at all. I'm not anti-vax. I've gotten so many vaccines in my life. And that was not like any other ones. It immediately hurt. You could feel stuff going inside you. My arm hurts. It feels like it burns. Hi, how can I help you? I hope Ohio Wesleyan is proud of themselves. Forcing this on people. Vaccine coercion is awful. I have no words. Someone literally sat down next to me right before I got it and was like, oh, it's okay. I'm fully vaccinated. I just, I just need to sit down. I've already had my two shots. Literally looked at him like he was stupid. Like, for real? That doesn't matter. I don't care. Like, since when did this become normal to be scared to sit down beside someone because of their vaccination status of a disease that like barely even makes a dent in the human population. Gosh, I think the vaccine should only be given to old people.